How you doing, everybody? This is Jehoadek Maccabeus, Maccabeus Everyday Survival. I hope everybody's doing well out there. I'm going to do a video today on my latest lantern that I made. It's a steampunk post-apocalyptic. Uh, Do-it-yourself, repurposed uh, scavenger oil lamp. But this is the base that I used. It was just some decorative piece with the wrought iron or the whatever pieces on it. And uh, I cut this chain down. This is a piece of stainless steel chain off of a piece of farm equipment. It was a fertilizer spreader. And uh, I took two links out for each side so it'd give me a hinge. And... Uh, out of my way the lantern as I've showed before on my last lantern video I think it was this lantern inside is from the late 1800s it was a Miller I believe it's the brand it's got like an inch and a half wide wick on it and uh, the globe is just off of a, a modern day porch light electric porch lamp the cage around it, I believe, was a, uh, I'm guessing, I don't know, a, uh, like a, a lottery cage tumbler. I don't know if you can see the end of it there. I, I cut the hole in the top of it for the top of that globe to fit through, and it had, uh, these pieces welded inside of it that was where I cut for the globe the, the two half round pieces it opens up like like this and these were welded on the inside these little squares like that I, I don't know what the piece is off of one of y'all could probably tell me it's been laying out here in a junk pile for years I just thought it was unique so I kept it and it turned out it worked out pretty good for this just the right height that globe and I also have a burner I didn't bring it down with me but I do have a short where I was uh, warming up some chicken noodle soup on this it took about uh, 15 minutes or so to warm up a pan of two cans of chicken noodle soup the uh, I made an external deal to uh, turn the wick up and down it's chained on with Stainless chain. Get it out of there. The piece I put here, it was just a uh, decorative piece off of a piece of like eighth inch uh, pipe off of a modern electric lamp. I take all them apart for the eighth inch stuff and, and the other parts off of them too. The uh, prong in the end, that was a um, curtain hook. And I've bent it different ways and got it slid in there, packed the end of the hole with the uh, JV weld. And that inside of there, I don't know how if you're going to be able to see it, but the knob that runs your wick has, uh, two, I drilled two holes in it. You can still kind of maybe see the, the brass glitter in there where I was drilling. JV welded that piece in. Um, on the other end was the other end of the curtain hook that's what that eyelet is for the chain and this piece here is one of them I forget what they're called I think they're used mostly in electrical stuff it's a kind of a weird shaped nail that one there was uh, stainless so I put it in to kind of match the whole thing I'm not going to take this all apart because it is kind of tricky to get it all back together. I mean, it's not hard. It just takes some effort. More than I want to tie up in a video. See, all you got to do is turn that 
Okay, uh, then this sets on here. That lined up about right. Hold on, I'm going to pause this and finish my cigarette. Okay. Don't like to waste a cigarette. I went ahead and put the other three in while I was smoking. But this hinge comes up, the chain link, and the end of that carriage bolt. Put it in at an angle like that, and it pops right in into that spot um, where the pin from the chain goes. And it's the chain. Let me get the chain here and show you a little bit better. Well, this one might not work because it's been a little bit from where I had to beat them apart. That fits tight in there, and... The roundness of the head of the bolt fits into the hole where the pin goes. See that hole? And when it's straight up, it pulls. There's enough of that. Gets in there, it just pulls straight up. And, and it holds it tight. And uh, I don't know if that made any sense or not. Makes sense to me. If all you can do is run your mouth on the internet and say, I got dementia, you need to go and sit and spin bitch mr 66 you and uh, your whole cut crowd getting a little burnt out on the shit talk on the internet again <laughs> bunch of fucking posers Take these and put them up through there. It's easier to do it this way. Well, it's the only way you can really do it and get everything to line up right. Oh, this this piece I just put on, that's actually a burner off of a uh, grill. Kind of gives it a little bit of a protective ring there, too. Get everything spaced just right. It's coming up through everything where it's supposed to. Now this top. This piece where the all thread locks in and where the bell hooks in. I'm not sure what it was off of. I'm guessing maybe a modern uh, planter. I know the older planters had a cast iron piece that looked like this. I have honestly no idea what it come from. I saved it years ago and uh, worked out good for this. And, and this piece here is another top off of a uh, regular modern porch lamp. The bale is a piece of like 3 8 ground rod. This is an old piece that I had. It was already bent right here on this side. This was straight down, then a bend here, and then it went straight across this way. And uh, I got it set just right where I uh, bent me a little prong there to go into my hanger there. And then bent the rest of it around done it all by hand in a vise it didn't turn out too bad it's not perfect but it didn't turn out too bad uh, get this in there You know, and the whole idea of this isn't because I need oil lamps or you might have to build you an oil lamp. And you might. You never know. Uh, especially one that's protected from, like, uh, getting knocked over, getting broke, 
Uh, if you're talking about a grid down world, you're going to want a more secure lantern than them Queen Anne burners that you see everybody having. Uh, them are fire waiting to happen. And if there's no fire services or anything like that, and you're depending on yourself to get the fire put out, or your group, or your neighbors, or whatever, better secure up your lamps a little bit. But the whole idea of this is to uh, develop your mind to recognize things that are useful for something else that you might be needing to make or build or repair. Uh, just a good mental exercise looking for stuff. And some people say, oh, you don't have to worry about making your own stuff. There's going to be a whole smorgasbord of free stuff out there when the grid goes down and you just go out and get what you need. And one thing people need to realize about that kind of world, if you're really thinking things through, is, uh, as I've mentioned before, there will be turf wars. And uh, if there was a mass die-off in this area and I was one of the survivors of this area, this is still our area, and you go venturing over in here stealing our resources, you're going to have a turf war on your hands. So at that point in time, you are the bad guy. You know, everybody is a bad guy to somebody else, period. Anyway, uh, and these wing nuts, I didn't buy them new. A uh, friend of mine, uh, the one I rebuilt the Argo for, he had bought some for his skid steer we'd done some work on. And they, he just left them laying out in the parking lot. And I asked him if I could have them. And they were just what I needed for the top of this thing. Because I had a couple of 3 8 wing nuts, but I didn't have enough to do the whole lantern now, I run a die down on this all thread I'm or this long carriage bolt and it's still got a burr on it so that's why I didn't take the nut all the way off I gotta do some more work to it I guess the uh, bolts come out of an old tiny house that I tore down that was on a trailer and them's the bolts that went through the floor and up through the bottom plates and all that when I tore it down I saved as much of the stuff as I could any screws or bolts didn't really save nails uh, the ones I pulled out I do save nails and throw them in a can not so much for uh, uh, reusing but uh, you know they, they can be used for a lot of other things if you're a blacksmither or you needed to load your cannon with some shot whatever you know whatever I'm talking all uh, academic here in a fantasy shit hit the fan world they'll be doing nothing stupid in the now world don't go do anything stupid and say you got the idea from me anyway I ain't your fall guy And the way them heads on them carriage bolts, they drop into them holes inside of there and there's just enough pressure and enough lip hanging into them pinholes that pulling straight, they about won't pull out. I got to do a little bit of work on that one. I had to beat this chain apart with a punch and I sprung them a little bit. I thought I had them all pulled back in straight. You can get them pretty tight. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and take that top off to do this one. Let's see here. is pretty tight <laughs> I do a little bit of modifying on that came apart a little easier last night anyway the uh turn this back around 
around here so I can get to the hemostats. Probably wondering what them hemostats are on here for. How long is this getting to be? 15 minutes. All right, the hemostats. This is for lighting the oil lamp. And I didn't bring any paper. But that's what this little canister of Strike Anywhere matches are. They're kind of dated too. These were in an old backpack that I bought. Probably too windy out here now. And you just light her up. I actually had less problems with this last night. I think I need to do a little more modifying to it. Yep, this video. Well, I got it back together. I just needed to remember the sequence that I used to put it together. This, uh, see that hump in it right there? This side doesn't have that. And that side should have been dropped in first with this side in. And then this side would have popped in. But that's the oil lamp. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Y'all stay safe and have a good day.